In Dubai, there's something new on the streets. Say hello to this little guy. Behind these doors, scientists and engineers from across the world are bringing robots of all kinds to life. My name is Khalif Al Gama, and I'm the executive director of the Dubai Future Labs, part of the Dubai Future Foundation. In this lab, we work on what society cares about or the market cares about. Humanity has always developed tools, and robots is a subsegment of new tools that humanity is learning how to utilize for the betterment of their societies or their economies, or maybe both. But when it comes to delivery bots, what makes a good one? What makes a good delivery robot is an efficient, autonomous robot that delivers objects from point A to point B without any intervention or a problem. Why do we need delivery bots? We need delivery robots to make the delivery process more efficient in terms of uh, delivery, but also less pricey for the end user. Just like us kids when we grew up without phones, and now phones became an essential gadget of our daily life. The robot and what we imagine for this robot it becomes the norm of tomorrow. My name is Leif Mehdi. I'm a senior robotics engineer here at Dubai Future Labs. I lead the autonomous systems team. And why do you know so much about robots? I love robots, I love technology in general, and I think technology has been evolving um, in the past few years, and uh, robots are there to help us just like any other machine that came into human's life in the past 50 years. Delivery robot is a piece of technology or a machine uh, that drives autonomously on sidewalks, delivers food, groceries, or medications from their stores to its final destination. Any product you usually order, it goes from the factory to the warehouse, probably airplane, truck, and then to a final destination just before it gets to delivered. So that trip from the destination to your house is called the last mile. The demand for the delivery robot has spiked in the past few years, especially after COVID. A lot of people got used to ordering online. The delivery robot came to shift that traffic from the street all the way to sidewalks. For the team at the robotics lab, food delivery bots are just the start. Just like Rome, these nifty bots were not built in a day. They've gone through months of design, development and testing. The way we design any technology product is we engineer something, we design it in the computer in simulation, we build it and we validate it and then we do testing. So we deploy it in real life scenario and we see what problems that we have not thought of. We look at what is the object that would only fit in one way and cannot be collapsed in any other way. I know this one. It's a pizza box. Yeah, I never imagined myself looking in that much into pizza boxes. A robot without perception system is just a, a moving piece of technology. So what we add on top is that perception layer. So it has a human detection, object detection, walkway detection. It also uses a satellite to know its global position. One of the problems that we probably never thought of is that we designed the robot to be of a certain size to accommodate for a certain volume of delivery. But then what we notice is the majority of people who interact with these robots are kids. And then what we realize is that the robot was way too tall for the kids. So we actually have to downsize the, the robot. But this is something that we might not have thought of if we didn't actually deploy in real life scenario. So how are these bots powered? The robot, when it's hungry, when it needs to charge its belly, it knows exactly where that wireless charging is and it literally just goes and stands on it. When it's full, it can just back up and go deliver more food. The robot is designed to also maintain certain uh, temperature, which makes it easier to deliver medications as well. So do you think robots will take over our jobs? I don't think robots will take over the world. I think they will be side-by-side -side humans. But we humans tend to fear something we don't usually control. My short answer is no, and let me explain. Every single one of us does multiple tasks in a day. And there are certain tasks that are more accurate to be done with a robot, or better to be done with a robot because it's mundane. Does that mean it took my job away? No, but it improved what I can do and maybe allowed me to do even more. It's really simple and we have to keep it simple. That boy curiosity didn't die and I always say is that if that dies, that's where the growth dies because you always have to stay curious. If I go back, I don't think I will believe that I will be where I am 
today. Life has evolved and changed me in so many ways, uh, but I'm just, I think it will be proud of where I am now.